Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for watching today. In this video, I'm going to share the top essential oil companies of 2023, in my opinion. Okay, so there are tons of essential oil brands. There's Young Living, doTERRA, like the top where everyone thinks if you know nothing about essential oils that's what you think of I feel like or you think of the gas station or the drugstore ones but there are so many high quality essential oil brands that test their oils that have really good prices that are sustainable give back do so many good things that I feel like are not talked about enough so that's why I like sharing them I have my favorites this list is a little bit different than my 2022 list so I wanted to do an updated one and just share what I've been loving about each brand lately so the first thing I will share is why should you choose an essential oil company that is high quality or um, why should you care so it matters because from the time you plant the seed into the ground to the time that you're getting your bottle there are so many steps that need to be done precisely in order to get the components constituents of the oil that do what they're supposed to do so you need a brand that's going to source their plants well and distill well um, and sustainably too. You don't want farms that are just farming lavender in um, not the best area and not the best practices. Like you want to, um, and a lot of these companies are getting the plants like natively and sustainably. So read into the brand for that. The, the brand that you're getting at Hobby Lobby is not going to be that. I'm sorry. I saw essential oils at Ulta one time and I was like, stop, this is not okay. And so the therapeutic benefits are not there if the oil or if the plant is not grown and then distilled properly. The safety is not going to be there because the cheaper essential oil companies, um, there's tons on Amazon as well. I just like forgot about that, but so many reach out to me too. Like, I see you do videos on essential oils. Would you try our brand? And I'm just like, do you really want me to? Because I don't think you do. So the safety, if you have an essential oil company that's doing this mass production, um, just to get quick oil out to make quick money, they're going to dilute the oil, um, one, which isn't bad in itself. Some blends are sold with coconut oil. Oil, um, from Young Living, from uh, Rocky Mountain, whatever. But they're going to fill it with like contaminants or they're not going to check for contaminants. Like there's just different things that they skip because they just want to quickly make oil and quickly sell it at a really cheap price. And then your aromatic experience is not going to be there. You know when you open a bottle of lavender from Hobby Lobby, Ulta, Amazon, whatever, um, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and then you open a bottle of really high quality, like from a really good brand, and there's a huge difference, a big um, aromatic difference. And so when you're diffusing your essential oils, is that if that's all that you have your oils for? It's not going to be as good. And that's, I mean, that's skimming the surface. That is why basically you want to get an essential oil company that cares and does it right. <laughs> Make sure they do these things. Um, the testing. So it's GCMS testing and that will show you what constituents are in the oil and in what percentages. So <clears throat> Those are what make the oil do what it does. That's the easiest way to say it. And so that is not the end-all be-all for choosing an essential oil company, but that is very important. So they want you, I want to see a test too. That's just transparency for me. I appreciate that. Um, with Young Living, they don't share that. And that's just mind-boggling to me. That could be something so simple that they do, but they don't. So you just have to take their word for it, literally. and Or go to their farms and like experience the whole thing, which... I feel like that's a lot. Why can't you just share? Anyways, proper sourcing. Like I said, you want to make sure that most of the time um, they're getting the oil, the plants natively, and that they're prioritizing sustainable farming practices. What was the Simply Earth brand that I use? Um, they just had, I don't know if it's a whole series or just a couple of videos, but they went to the country where they were getting a specific oil and like interviewed the people. I thought that was cool. Transparent. I love that. Um, distillation process. Uh, like I said, it's a science. Like you have to distill at a very specific um, pressure and heat and it has to be done at a specific time or for a specific time. It's just, there's so much to it. And if you miss it, you miss the therapeutic properties. And then transparency. So I've said this already, but I love a brand that is transparent with everything that they do because why wouldn't you be? That's why people are coming to you to shop that know what they're doing and like want a good oil. So be transparent. Um, okay, now I'm going to share the top brands that we use. And these are the brands that um, share their testing results. They source their oils well. They have transparency. They have education on their 
websites and blogs and Instagram, uh, YouTubes. Like I love the companies that are all about educating you. Um, and that's why I love these brands. So Revive Essential Oils, and this isn't in my favorite to least favorite order. This is just in a random order. It's not even alphabetical. I should have done that. But anyways, so Revive is a great company for the price. And if you are coming from Young Living or doTERRA and you like a specific blend from them, they have those same blends. Like they match them copy them, whatever you want to call it. Um, so Joy Essential Oil, uh, Thieves Essential Oil, those were my, uh, Valor. Those are my all-time favorites from, uh, Young Living, and I just swapped to the Revive. I don't know if they have Valor, but Joy I have in love, and then they also have, like, a Thieves Cleaner, too, which I haven't tried yet, but that is the only thing I'm holding on to from Young Living, so I might have to try that soon. But anyways, they have a lot of the same products. They have a lot of Bath & Body products, and their prices are amazing. I will try to put a comparison of pricing down below in this post, too. And I don't want this to be super long, so I'm kind of going to go through this part quickly. More information is in this blog post, though. I'm like, more details details and all of the links and everything. Rocky Mountain is next. This is a company that I really love for their like community and um, they share a bunch of recipes and how to use your oils on their Instagram. I love that. They also have um, really good prices too for the quality that they are and tons of different products. Eden's Garden whoops, is next on my list, and I love Eden's Garden for their blends. If you have watched my videos before, I just rave about their blends because they are top-notch, set, set apart from the rest, um, because they use a lot of vanillas in their blends, and they are just oh, so good. They're synergies, and if you haven't tried them, you need to try them ASAP. If you are a candle person and you're like, essential oils just don't do it for me, the Eden's Garden um, essential oils blends so good um in the diffuser okay jade bloom is next and i love them also prices just super transparent um they have a youtube channel with a bunch of really good videos too um and kind of just teaching you and they also have jade bloom university which i have done i think my first degree they have like four different tiers of the education but um so they're all about teaching you and once you the more you the more you realize some of these companies are like what are you doing like why aren't you doing this and this and this so i always appreciate that and mountain rose herbs is next this is a company that i really love their um other products uh, probably more than their oils say more more than um we get their spices and they have teas and a bunch of so many different like DIY products that you would need like carriers and containers and things like that it's a very like earthy hippie type of company where it's not like flashy um, and that's not always a bad thing either but they're very like just down to earth and like they have the products what do you want and all of them are tested in high quality like their teas and uh, herbs and spices so good and I think Mountain Roots herbs are all organic. Um, that was the other thing with Young Living too. And really why they're not on this list is because they don't show the testing and not all of their essential oils are organic, but they say they are. Um, and I understand that's a labeling thing, but just one of those things. Simply Earth is next and they have amazing prices. They share, like I said, the videos on YouTube of like where they get their oils, they interviewed. They have the box. So um, this, oops. I almost gave you a sneak peek. This is July, but this is the box you get every month if you're a subscriber to it. Um, and you get four essential oils. Here, I'll show you the other one. It wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I don't want to spoil it. Um, okay, so you get four essential oils and then tons of stuff to make. The recipes that they give you, so you get like recipe cards. Um, I have a few of their recipe cards, <laughs> a ton. So I love just having all that on hand too, especially like you never know when something's going to come up, like an eczema flare up or, um, just something random. You're like, Oh, I have the products I need, the carriers in the bottles and the oils that I need. It's like stocking up on your holistic wellness cabinet, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay. Plant therapy. Is that the last one? So there, plant therapy. Yes. So plant therapy is last. I love their kids line or their kids safe. They always like label things, whether they're, um, do I have one right here? Let me just see. Plant therapy. Okay. So kids safe. Um, one of the companies had like, it said each age, but now I can't remember. Oh, maybe it was simply earth. One minute. Um, on the bottles, it'll say, oh yeah, so Kids Safe 10 Plus, um, but they, these do say Kids Safe 2 Plant Therapy, uh, because you, you know, like, 
you might not have time all the time to just be like, oh, is Kim's lavender on my two-year-old? And on the bottle of Simply Earth, it'll tell you. Um, and here is the plant therapy bottle too, just to check out their labeling. I To show like all of them, I just wanted this to be a quick video, but this bourbon geranium, mm, it's super potent, but like such a like luxurious smelling oil. So if you haven't seen my video on that, I think I just shared it in a plant therapy haul. Anyways, those are the brands that we use and love. We do have a few Young Living still, so it's not like we don't use them. They're just not on this list. Um, and I think that's it. Let me know what questions you have. Let me know what essential oil brands you really love and think should have been on this list, and maybe they'll be on the list for next year. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I so appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.